Good evening, my name is Sandy Hernandez, and today I'm going to be talking about the business of birth. But before I begin, I want to ask you guys, how many of you guys were born in a hospital and delivered by a doctor? Okay, that was mostly all of you. <laughs> um, I'm sure you're thinking, why did I ask that? Duh, of course, we're all born in a hospital by a doctor. Well, this is because in the last 50 years, 99% of all deliveries have been in hospitals by doctors, and less than 1% took place at home with a midwife. And if you go 20 years further, the number was 50-50, as stated in the documentary, The Business of Being Born. But in the case of most of, of our parents and grandparents, they were born at home by a midwife. And back in those days, the number was way higher. Um, in our history, hundreds of years ago, a midwife was defined as an elder who witnessed many births in a town and passed on the ways of delivery. Today, most midwives are certified um, nurses who, there are men who received advanced studies in delivery and have obtained master's degrees and advanced training in childbirth. This leads to my claim that certified nurse midwives are used in the U.S. are underused in the U.S. My secondary claims are the cost of change from midwives to doctors in the last 70 years in the U.S. Other countries have not gone through the change from midwives to doctors, and the qualification of a doctor versus qual the qualification of midwives to deliver children. Going back to my first claim. Um, the change from midwives to doctors in the last 70 years was caused by the needs of doctors needing a job. So what they did is they started smear campaigns that were launched in the 1900s. As stated in the article, how women are reclaiming birth one midwife at a time. What they would do is they would post up flyers that portrayed midwives as illiterate, filthy, and drunk immigrants standing in the way of scientific progress. Um, Tina Cassidy, the author of the book, of the book Birth, The Surprising History of How We Are Born, said that the flyers portrayed midwives as dirty, ignorant, illiterate, and at the same time, hospitals were offered as gleaming, wonderful, and super clean. Robbie Davis Floyd, a medical anthropologist, stated that Posters were used and they invoked racist imagery depicting a black granny and their wife in a very poor home. <coughs> this profession of giving birth in the hospital started being dominated by the males in the 18th century. And what happened was is that they seem to have more formal training and they said that women were too emotional and that they weren't intellectually capable of learning how to deliver a baby in the new obstetric methods. And this led to more women trusting doctors to deliver their babies. So then the trend of delivering your baby at a hospital um, it became like the popular thing. And as the timeline of the history of midwifery and childbirth in America states that in 1812, middle class people started delivering their babies at home because uh, upper class women were, they trusted doctors more. So then the trend just kept going and going. And today you can see that actresses they say, oh, I want a C-section. So then regular people, they go to a hospital and they're like, oh, I want a C-section too because then like, I won't have like all the belly fat and stuff. And what they do is they get their C-section and the tummy tuck right after. Um, this led to births not seen as, they weren't seen as a natural process. But they were seen as a, a medical procedure. So in other words, you were just going into surgery. You weren't having a baby. <coughs> My second claim, other countries have not gone through the change from midwives to doctors. 
Um, in other countries, the rate of midwives used range from 70 to 80 percent, as stated by the former director of women's and health of the World Health Organization, Dr. Marcin Wagner. And these countries include Great Britain, Germany, New Zealand, Spain, Sweden, Australia, Norway, Japan, Netherlands, Finland, France, Scandinavia. And um, the only time they use a doctor is when there's a complication such as fetal distress, where there's no heart rate for the baby, cord prolapse, where the umbilical cord starts coming out before the baby, or breech birth, where the baby starts coming out butt or feet first. Um, the rate of C-sections in the U.S. are really high and they're increasing rapidly. Since 2007, it has gone up 32% and that's for the 11th consecutive year as stated by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. In other countries, it's 10 to 15%. The rate of deaths in the U.S are two point times higher than in Japan, Finland, Iceland, or Norway. And it's actually safer to have your baby by a midwife because there's only a 2% chance that something will go wrong. But most people just don't trust them, so they go to a doctor. And what doctors do is they push you with all the drugs that they put into you. So the process begins with Pitocin, then you get an epidural, and after that you get, um, you have a lot of pain. It causes, it causes the baby to be in distress, and then you get more Pitocin, another epidural, and then <coughs> when it's time to deliver your baby, they put you in a position where your pelvic area has, it's, it becomes smaller, so it's harder for you to push out the baby. Then they have to use the vacuum to take out your baby, and then that can cause damages to your baby. <laughs> and from there, um, that leads to doctors seen as not being qualified because they treat your birth as a surgery, not as a natural process. And technically, they just know what they learn in the book. <coughs> They don't have any experience in the natural birth, and in the documentary, The Business of Being Born, several residents from NYU were asked, how many natural births have you seen up to today since you have began? And most of them said, clearly, up to like none. <coughs> um, midwives, of course, they've existed since hundreds of years ago. They're stated in the Bible. Um, in the Middle Ages, they were treated, they delivered most of the babies, but eventually when doctors came into the picture, they were said to be witches, or it was magic that we were creating, and that they weren't clean and bad. And in reality, it was more dangerous to have your baby with the doctor because they weren't as sterile and they wouldn't wash their hands every time, so they would cause diseases. And from there, the cost at a hospital to have your baby starts at 13000 And a midwife named Kara, she says that it's better to have your baby with a midwife because you have an emotional connection. And her rate starts at 4000 compared to uh You've gone nine minutes. I have to okay. cut you off. I'm sorry. speech sounds like a history lesson. You get off on some tangents about the doctors. Let's make the argument simple. Midwives can effectively deliver uh, children. It's a, it's a pretty straightforward claim. Let's forget about all the stuff about what happened in the 19th century, the 16th century, the 18th century, or in the Bible. Let's talk about what's going on today. You mentioned, for instance, in other countries that midwives are successfully delivering babies, and I think that that's good information. 